Nice to have you back here in this new video. Time to talk about the Scandal CoolCam Eagle, the 3D camera that built with two half inch image sensor. And just want to share with you some great update on the features and the workflow on the CoolCam Studio. Okay, let's try to be simple before we dive deep into all of this great new update. First, we finally have, we finally have the auto focus, which I've been dreaming about for quite a long time, and it's finally become a reality. Another great update that the stabilization has been finally been packed inside this camera. With the help of CoolCam app or the CoolCam Studio on the desktop, you can generate the battery smooth gimbal like footage at 1080-60 FPS battery smooth. And there's also a lot more new feature that finally solve some long-term issues behind this camera. So now let's get started. And my name is Yijin Guo. My YouTube channel is dedicated to restrictive photography, video, accessories, and some cutting technology. Now let's start with the latest firmware that being packed with autofocus capability. First, I'd like to show you how to update the latest firmware. The firmware 2.7.10 has finally arrived. So to update your CoolCam Ego, you will use your micro SD card and copy and paste the latest firmware into your card and insert back into the camera alongside with the battery. And before we uh, update the firmware, be sure to fully charge your CoolCam Ego. A welcome screen and this camera will automatically detect whether there will be a latest firmware in the micro SD card. Once it's been detected, you might, you might notice this firmware upgrade session. Okay, so before we tap the upgrade, be sure to fully charge your cookie amigo. And then tap upgrade. You see, after a few seconds, the cookie amigo gonna restart. And now the cookie amigo in your hand has been updated to the latest firmware with autofocus capability. Here's a built-in VR headset. I will put it on my desktop and show you the autofocus capability. So first, you might notice that for my top-down shot, you finally have the autofocus icon on the side. You got autofocus. And you can also tap in between the different manual focus settings as well. But this time with autofocus capability, we scroll all the way to the left, turn on autofocus, and the two half inch image sensor with the prime lenses and synchronize, synchronize the focus side by side. So there's two lenses perform exactly the same movement in the lens with autofocus. Let's take a look at once we tap the view icon. I'm now recording at 60 FPS to 1080p. And did you see that? This camera will tap on the screen. This camera gonna will tap. It will focus slowly and steady. It looks like it kind of like it was shimmering. It looks like a, a breathing effect. It looks like it, it is out of focus based on contrast, not space detection, because you can see the lens trap back and forth several times. Let's take a look at another side. Let's put another, oh, a, a battery charger. Let's, let's tap. Do you see that? The lens tend to travel back and forth several times. So I, I assume that this is out of focus based on contrast. And let's move out move out this battery charger and tap it will focus once again on the CoolCam Ego headset so this is the real world performance of this autofocus capability that this is a basic demonstration about this I believe that autofocus really definitely unleash a lot more potential behind the Kuka Amigo. Definitely make this camera 
an ideal camera for the everyday vlogging. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Coolcam Eagle to capture my portrait. I'm gonna tap record. This is the test shot for the Coolcam Eagle. I'm gonna use this 3D camera to capture a selfie. I'm gonna tap to my face. Tap. Tap. Do you see that? And with uh, the laser formula, you can also evaluate the audio performance, uh, the video performance, the imaging quality, and the overall experience. Especially, especially you can stabilize the footage in the CoolCam app or the CoolCam Studio, the latest edition on PC or Mac. Okay, this is a basic test shot for myself with a 3D lenses on the CoolCam Eagle. Another great update on CoolCam Eagle is that this camera can now be doubled as a webcam. It is now possible to transfer audio and video via the USB-C port and standard protocol. Scroll from top to bottom, tap settings, and tap webcam. And you have three different options on the webcam mode. You can either uh, you can either you can choose MJPEG format at 30 FPS. Or you can use high frame rate at H.264 at at most 60 FPS battery smooth, or at H.264 at 30 FPS. That is a basic recap. Auto stop recording always set to high because sometimes it can tend to overheat. But when I set the auto stop rec temperature to high, uh, help me record longer time continuously. I normally turn off the hotspot, turn off the Wi-Fi to save my battery because th this camera got real hot when I turn on turn on the, the Wi-Fi or hotspot. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate the latest so CoolCam Studio that be compatible with CoolCam Eagle and also add a lot more great new features. Gonna definitely change the overall workflow on our desktop. Here's the latest of CoolCam Studio. Uh, as you might have noticed, this is the CoolCam Studio. 2.4.0.7 is at the full compatibility with the CoolCam Eagle. And here I do have some clips that have been captured. Drag and drop. We have been added into the latest studio. And here you can see all of the footage. And on the left side, it is uh, the file management. And you will see the names, the thumbnails. I think we turn on the color correction, the overall dynamic range looks a tiny little better. But here is the, the cater feature, the stabilization. We'll tap the anti-shake per processing, going to apply to all the footage, the entire footage. And you end up with a battery smooth, a battery smooth footage with a tiny little crop that still maintain a great 3D effect. Let's play back. Now you see it's been stabilized. It's been stabilized and it, it, it works just gorgeous. Here's, a, here's another one. This is my portrait shot. I've been tested in my studio. And also I can uh, tap the stabilization. It's a stabilized footage. It's a handheld, a handheld in my studio. And you can also change the, the convergence. This convergence. Do you see that? You can change the convergence. So it's adaptive to your different VR headset. That is another great new feature. And I also change the different modes, the side-by-side, -side, the parallel view, the half side, top and bottom, or the mono. When you turn on mono, uh, you definitely put this Kukamigo as a normalized, a single lens that was half inch image sensor that been captured is 1080p and 60 FPS. This is how it works. Uh, normally use a SBS format. It's a standard format. And you can also click on render. You can click on render, you have more options. I thought it's 264, get different bit rate. And you can also add the YouTube metadata. Add the YouTube metadata when you upload this side by side format onto the YouTube site. Uh, your viewer gonna enjoy the real world 3D effect 
have been captured with high imaging quality by the Google Amigo. So this is definitely great. And I click on Add. This is a batch rendering. The batch rendering is so you can batch rendering all the footage. You can render selected or you can render them all. So this is a basic recap on the latest Cookham Studio. And if you went to the website on this uh, candlevr.com, uh, here in this uh, support download, you end up with more. You, you end up with more uh, tools, you no know, software. Take a look. This is a Coolcam Eagles YouTube Metadata Injector. This is a, a standalone tool for Coolcam Eagle you to add metadata before update the videos. But if you post process with your Coolcam Studio, you can definitely add you can definitely add the metadata in in the studio software. Okay, click on Mac, and let's take a look at the instructions. How to upload the video, it goes 3D video to YouTube. Show 3D video, transfer the video to computer, download, add metadata, and upload and share. So if you ever apply the stabilized footage in your studio software, uh, the YouTube metadata can be added. But if you don't want to post process with your software, just use this software, just use the YouTube metadata injector to inject the 3D metadata and you can also download the laser ego firmware and uh, the latest app as well so this is how it works it's a, some basic recap the latest cook m studio 2.0 definitely give it a try so overall this is uh, the, the latest features about the workflow behind the cook m ego i do hope in this video you can understand the the latest and great feature that's been packed inside the Cookie Amigo. So this is finally this Cookie Amigo has been packed with autofocus. And I, I assume that it is an autofocus based on contrast. It's not face detection. And I also learned you have also learned about the webcam, how to enable the webcam, especially this Cookie Amigo support 60 FPS at F.264. It's battery smooth webcam with video and audio. And I have also shared with you the laser workflow about the Cookie Amigo, especially on the studio software. You can post process the stabilization, you can adjust the convergence, and you can even adjust the different the video format side by side, top to bottom, whatever you want. So all of these features definitely make the Cookie Amigo more user friendly, more functional. It means a lot to the video content creator like you and me. But I still want more about more performance from this camera. Maybe in the future, uh, you can give me the lock, the lock color mode to gain more dynamic range. Because with a half inch image sensor, the video quality with a prime lens looks pretty awesome. But sometimes you have to control the exposure really precise or you lose some detail in the highlight or the shadows. So I really want to bring back more detail with less contrast ratio and a better lock color size. And next one, maybe perhaps, um, and next one, maybe perhaps you can continue to improve the audio performance. I think the, in the, this firmware, the engineer tend to add more denoise inside the camera. That definitely makes the audio it with great performance overall, but the audio tend to lose some uh, low band frequency in the detail. But anyway, uh, I'm very really glad to see that the kind of the company have been constant update their Cookie Amigo and make this camera better and better. You also have noticed in my previous section, uh, we have covered some new update on the Cookie M3 as well as the Cookie M3 Ultra. As far as I know that the team has been working incredibly hard on this Cookam 3 in the mass production. And I suppose that we're gonna see more about the information of Cookam 3 in the near future. So stay tuned. Anyway, I feel so excited and to just can't wait to share with you all of these details. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Talk to you soon. See you next time. Bye.